is Stephen in wonderful Witcher in England and I'm here to give you an overview of XBit VCAM, how it works. Background removal tool I've been using since January 2019 and it just keeps getting better and better. Now the image behind me is one of Salisbury Cathedral and the acid test of any background removal tool is that you still have 10 fingers with little webbing between them. Okay, so that test passed. Second is the outline of your body. Those are the things to look for when you're looking at a green screen, the ability to actually move about. So let's take a look at the software itself. And this is the Expert VCAM program. Okay, now you notice at the top there, it says original. This is me, this is also me. So this is how I look normally. Now. First stage is to actually remove the background. So let's remove the background by pressing a button and I get background's gone. Okay, prove that if I go here, the background has disappeared. Okay, so the next step is to select a background to go in place. And you can do that just by clicking an image, you'll get a different background, okay? That's it, that's very colorful. Now, just a warning, you need to make sure that the image at the top is not too light, okay? What you don't want is to have an image too light at the top. If you try it, you'll see what I mean. Okay, now XSplit VCAM is an external program which you download from XSplit and it sits on your computer and you can use it in this way. Okay, so over to one of my favorite backgrounds. So I'm just switching background. Now. If I go to here, you can actually see that I can get backgrounds from several sources. I can upload a media file. Okay, and I'm going to upload a media file. I'm going to go on my hard drive to artwork and to reduced. Okay, and I'm going to bring up this image. And that's it. That's so easy it is to take an image from your hard drive and bring it on screen. Second thing you can do is you can run a YouTube video. Now I can show you a sample of this. If I go down here, we'll see in a moment, hopefully a YouTube video, and you can have a video as your backdrop. I've got so many backdrops. You can have up to a hundred different backdrops, which you can switch between. And uh, somewhere down here, he said, I hope I haven't got rid of it, is a moving background. Just take it from me. You can have a YouTube video playing in the background. You can have a web page. And if I go and pick a URL, then I can take that URL, bring it into XSplit and use that background as my URL, as, as URL as my background. <laughs> okay, so I've got a newspaper behind me and I could scroll that background and actually talk about the news stories, okay next place to get a background from is Unsplash. Now Unsplash have a variety of backgrounds and you can search the backgrounds. And I'm going to search for Bristol and it's going to go off and it's going to show me some images of Bristol and I can pick any of those that I want. And that's one of my favorite ones of a bridge built by Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Okay, so I've downloaded a copy of that. As far as settings are concerned, you've got access to all the camera settings. So I can zoom in or more probably zoom out. I can change the exposure for my camera. You can see I need the exposure switched on to be able to see be seen properly. Uh, and I can also change the saturation, the sharpness and the white balance. Let's change the white balance. and You can see the difference that that makes. I'm going to apply that and OK. And then within the menu itself, you can change language. You can check for updates. And the other thing is that you can calibrate. If I go across here, you can actually calibrate. And that basically optimizes the settings of your green screen software. So let's go back to the software, back to here and just click on here. And that's back to me and then go up and pick a different background. Got to think about bridges today. There we are. That's the bridge. And 
pick one at random just to show that it works. Okay, and that one, and that one. Okay, so I'm going to close that, go back to original. So that's how we started off with. We remove the background, and then we chose a background to go in its stead. And that means that you can have any background that you like using XSplit VCAM. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.